driver so I can't just be looking at the camera and like you know drive and talk towards the camera but anyways guys so today I'm gonna put it like right here even though I'm not looking at you guys <laughs> all right so today um you should probably be right here uh, so today we're gonna be sending out this book that I have finished reading and miraculously I finished reading because I get very like I get like very Como se dice? Me desvío, you know what I mean? Like, one day I'm reading it, and then, like, Hi. the next day I find so many things to do that I don't read it. I can't remember if the mailbox is over here. I think it is. Let's go this way. Alright, so... Like I was saying, I, was, I feel like it was so good, like towards the end, I feel like I was just getting very stuck to it that I didn't stop until I finished it. I was like, I'm gonna finish it by this week and I literally finished it on my second day and I was like, heck yeah. But anyways, um, I know I haven't been posting. I'm looking at, I don't, I don't even have the camera on my face. I know I haven't been posting in a while. It's just that I've been having a very, 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 very busy week back home. So, you know, for example, you know how I told you guys that my floor was done? It's not done. It's apparently decided to pop up in some places, like five places, while we were gone. So then now I have to... Customer parking. So now I have to... Um, we called the people to come fix it. They were supposed to come fix it Sunday, but now they're going to have to come until this Sunday because they couldn't make it. And then... Um, what was I going to say? And then our water heater, you guys know how our water heater went in Mexico? Well, it never came back. So we had to get this guy to come do it. And it took probably like four days before he could actually come do it. So we had to go shower at my mom's, not my mom's, at my sister-in-law's. We had to go shower there and it was just a hassle. And then like every day was so sweaty. We had things to do. So it was like, can we come shower? <laughs> it was just so, it was just like so bad. But anyways, it's still kind of busy, but not as much. Um, it came to a point where I was like, all right, you know what? Let me just read my book. And I feel like, I feel like I was just feeling like so overwhelmed in a way, but like not really. Anyways, I started reading my book and then I just realized that I feel like God just wanted to like pull me aside for a moment and like just basically speak to me. And like, it's, I feel like, I feel like when you spend time with God, not like, oh, let me go ahead and spend time with God and like forcibly you know when you do it in a way that like you're doing things that you enjoy in a way that you're worshiping god then it's like if you were talking to your parent you know but like your parents giving you advice and you're not taking it in a wrong way because you know that they only mean it for your good so anyways i feel like that's what my time with god was this week and anyway since i finished the book um i posted on my facebook if you guys have not already added me on my facebook please go ahead and do so the link is down below but anyways um i posted on my facebook as i was reading it and like some things that caught my eye i was putting it on my story and then i finished i finished um i finished the book and then i was like hey guys you know is there anybody that wants it um i'm gonna i don't want to just like keep it in my shelf when somebody else could read it and like it could do some good for them so then um this girl rachel she hit me up and she wants it so she hit me up yesterday or was it this morning no, I think she hit me up. I can't remember. I can't remember if it was yesterday or this morning. I think it was this morning. Uh, I think it was this morning. And she hit me up, and today here I am at the post office. I'm going to send it out to her. And just in case you guys are wondering what book this is, it is The Joyce Meyer, Eight Ways to Keep the Devil Under Your Feet. And let me just give you guys like a quick glimpse about like stuff that it says. By You got to watch your mouth. So watch what you say because what you say either gives life or it gives death. And then like, for example, if you say something nice to somebody, you're giving life to those words. But if you're saying something mean, you're giving death. And so basically whatever you say, you're serving yourself in a dish. So just think about if you're saying something bad, you're setting up a dish of like bad things that you yourself are going to eat. You know what I mean? So anyways, like for example, like this part, it says... 
We have got to get aggressive against the enemy in this area. Think about it. How much time do we spend complaining when having a good attitude would be at least 90% of the battle? How is it? How easy is it for me to start complaining about everything I have to do in the ministry? Then all I have to do is remember all the years I prayed to have this ministry and my attitude changes. So basically, it's like stop complaining about everything around you when if you actually open your eyes, there's a lot of things that a lot of blessings that you have and a lot of things that you're, you've prayed for that are in a better place than they were before. He said, getting us upset is one of the devil's favorite tactics. If he can control us by getting us upset with circumstances, then he will have us under his thumb all the time. But we don't have to give it give in to him. Peace in the midst of tribulation is in our inheritance. But many Christians never use this great benefit even though it belongs to us. The first thing you need to do to keep staying under your feet is to remain peaceful in the storm. So basically, like, if something bad is happening, just have your trust in God because, like, you may lose it. You're like, oh my God, ¿por qué me está pasando esto? Why is this happening to me? And it's just like, just, just like, take a moment, pause, and it's going to be okay. Just know that, like, whatever you're going through, it's because something better is coming, you know? But anyways, guys, I really enjoyed it. I feel like I didn't give it justice. I feel like I didn't, what I just read did not give it justice. Like, it's so great. It was so great. But anyways, here we are. We're going to go send it out. Santa, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. All right, guys. Off we go. We're going on a field trip. We're going on a field trip. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. Alright. Look at my little ugly mask. So ugly. Come on. Hey. P.O. boxes. One day when I'm super cool, I'll have one of these. so we just left the post office and we sent it it was like i found like a cute little packet that was like i think it was like almost like a dollar fifty which is pretty cheap i think because a lot of them were like four bucks i keep going off of the camera <laughs> sorry guys but anyways um it was so cute and then um it was like i think in total it was almost like five bucks um to ship it out which was not too bad, but it's like uh, five dollars. But you know what? Like at the same time, like I didn't ask her to pay anything. Like I just said, does anyone want it? And um, so I was gonna pay for the shipping, obviously. And at the same time, you know, five dollars is nothing compared to like whatever she's gonna get out of this book, you know. And anyways, guys, oh, why is the air on? But it's hot. It's hot. Okay, but anyways, um, we got it sent out. She should get it within Monday, and today is Wednesday, which is a couple days, but, you know, if you want to go cheaper, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to get the stuff, which is okay with me. But anyways, um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, but anyways, we got it sent, so I'm super excited. I, I have sent something before in, like, the mail. I'm not, like, a person that sends things through the mail. I'm just, like... I'm just like you know what like those old people that like probably not even old people old people are probably very like high into sending things through mail but I'm just like I don't know I feel like I'm a blonde for anything I don't know maybe because I don't know is it because I'm the smallest in my family I don't know but I feel like I am a child like I'm not even a full grown up yet and I'm just like mm. <laughs> but anyways yeah this is probably like I think I once upon a time sent something to my niece and i'm surprised she got it <laughs> but yeah this is probably like my second time sending something oh my god some high v food sounds so good but i don't think it's open have you guys ever tried their chinese food inside the high v mm, 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 mm. i used to eat it when i used to work here this was like my second job ever high v cashier it probably is open what are they doing up there setting it up but i don't even think do they have dine-in it doesn't even look like their lights are on in there Fuck, i don't know and then tj max is not even open oh, come on rasa what are you doing what time does high what what time does tj max open i don't even know what time they open i don't even think they're open oh my god like i come this is like i haven't even came to tj max since i got here and i'm just like you know why haven't you gone to tj max but anyways guys uh this whole video was about me sending the packet the packet was sent hopefully she gets it hopefully she enjoys it she did say that um she plans on doing the same thing uh reading it and then giving it to somebody 
so i think that's awesome you know that's kind of like you know um what does it say pass it on like pass it on or something like that where you like do good some do something good and then uh do something good to someone and then hopefully they do something good for someone else so i think that was amazing because i didn't even ask her you know like she could have kept it she could have kept the book but she plans on doing the same thing so that's like super awesome it makes my heart happy and but yeah guys i uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit different i hope you guys enjoyed the little chitter chatter that we have going on i wasn't gonna record it but i think it's pretty cool so it's like maybe i'll inspire you guys to like i don't know give away your books that you guys think are amazing you know and just share you know even if it's not like something like you know like even if it's not like a godly book that would experience you know like you know if you had your own experience with your book and then you want to share it for someone to, for them to have a change in their life too even if it's not like that even if it's just like one of those books that like an adventure book you know <sighs> some of you guys like to hold on to those and like to read back i do but sometimes it's better just to like hand it out to somebody and hopefully they get the same they enjoy it just as much as you do you know or like for example like i was saying like if it's an adventure book you know like just where the imagination takes you so that would be like super awesome what what okay um that would be like super awesome and then what else was i gonna say oh my god this lady's pushing her baby outside it's so cold in my car i feel like it's cold outside but it's probably not outside it's very beautiful outside but anyways what was i saying yeah just share the love share your books you know you know what would be so cool if we i should have put my name in there i wish i put my name on the book and then she could have put her name on the book and then it would have just kept going that would have been so awesome that would have been awesome too late maybe i could tell her to write my name on it i'd be like hey can you put my name on it and then when you're done reading it put your name on it and then hopefully the next person puts anyone in. Oh, that's too much work. Okay, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment. Let me know if you are... Do you like reading books? Yes or no? Do you like to read books? What kind of books do you like to read? And then have you ever given a book away for someone else to read because you thought it was so good that you're like, oh my god, I can't keep this to myself? Uh, or do you think that that's something that you would like to do to give a book away for someone to also have a great time reading that book just like you did or um are you planning on doing something similar but different but it, like you know the same thing but like in a different way and if so let me know and then don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of this group yet please go ahead and subscribe i would love to see you guys around and believe it or not i remember faces so like the faces that i see that comment on my stuff that interact with me like i like to interact back so um yeah be part of the team and then uh turn on your notification bell so then you get notified when i post next because then you'll be looking and then be like oh my gosh you posted like three videos already and then it's like why didn't i get notified and it's like because you didn't turn on your bell so yeah go ahead and do that and thank you guys so much for already the people that are subscribed i appreciate you guys so much and i just can't believe that we're like at 200 and something subscribers i know some of you are probably like oh my god 200 something but that's like so much to me like you guys don't understand when i was at 100 i was like oh my god i have like zero friends <laughs> how is it that i have 100 <laughs> even like 10 i was like but anyways guys thank you so much i my mind is telling me that i want canes i don't even know if i want canes i have to stop and think all right guys thank you guys so much for watching have a good one bye bye say bye Say bye. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.